Hey hey survivors, welcome to a new video with Paul, two weeks have passed since my transfer to state 30. What has happened since then? Well, we had a successful reservoir raid, a new world event has started and a new king of the hill season has also started. And we got an amazing match directly at the beginning. In this video I show you how our king of the hill match against Val and Lamb went. So grab a drink, sit back and enjoy. We had a good strategy ready but we knew that it would be anything but easy against these two teams, but we went into the match confident. At the beginning of stage 1 it was still pretty evenly matched. I was in the team on the left side. There we were up against Lam. But we were soon to have big problems there. Lam, especially with Zaza and Great Army, managed to keep pushing us back into our territory. Here you can see a few more examples of how difficult it was for our team on the left side against the top players of LAM. But we also had some problems on the right side against Val, so we hoped that something would change in stage 2. Stage 2 began and the first key cities opened. We hoped that things would now be a little easier for us, because our opponents would now have to spread out more across the map. At this point we were already almost 30,000 points behind second place and my kill record was already more than just negative. But even though Lam was now more spread out, the problems on our left side didn't really get any less. Zaza's two top marches with around 540 million battle power each were almost unbeatable. Apart from the top players, I think we actually had an advantage over the rest of the LAM team. But these top players can make the difference. And so unfortunately we could not prevent our deficit to second place from being more than 50,000 points. But LAM's deficit to first place was also getting bigger and bigger. At this point they were already around 30,000 points behind. It was already clear to us that it would be better for us not to fight for the center and instead try to expand our territory. Stage 3 started and the center opened. It was clear that Lam and Val would fight for it. This could be an opportunity for us. The first occupation of the center went to Val, who were thus able to further extend their lead. We managed to occupy one of the key cities on the Lam territory, but Lam, for their part, expanded their territory in the north of the map, so our distance to them did not really decrease. Halfway through stage 3, Val still had the center and was already a little more than 100,000 points ahead of Lam. We did a great job of defending the key city on the left side of the map. My kill balance was really bad, but I think a lot of players felt the same way today. In the meantime, the occupation of the center had changed. Lam had it now, and suddenly things got really exciting again. But Val managed to save the narrow lead and win this king of the hill match. And so the following result was decided at the end. In the next round we will continue in the lower bracket. Despite the defeat, I really enjoyed the match, and I hope you enjoyed it too. And if so, please like the video, share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you soon with more new videos.